What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys do know, I do sell on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Kijiji, and other places locally as well. And I focus on video games and comic books. So today I thought it'd be a great opportunity to share with you guys different video games that you should pick up if you do see them for cheap to flip for profit and sell on eBay, preferably for me. Let's get right into this. So up first is for the PlayStation 3 and that is Deadpool. This game here doesn't sell for a lot. It sells for around $25 to $40. $40 is more on the high ends. That's what GameStop usually sells it for. But you should be able to sell it for around $25 on eBay. That's the sold comps that I do have. And it is a pretty fun game, but it isn't worth a whole lot. But definitely worth listing and selling individually on eBay compared to other cheaper $5 games. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. Next up is for the PlayStation 2 Simpsons Hit and Run. This is actually one that I do have in my personal collection behind me here. Now this one here does sell for $50 plus. Now it depends on if you have the black label like the one here, or if you have the red label, which is the greatest hits. I don't know if it came with the platinum one, I'm not sure if it did. But this game here, if it does include the manual, you'll get more than $50. If it doesn't, it should be around $50 you will get if the case and the game is in perfect condition. That is actually a great price for a PlayStation 2 game and something I didn't expect. So I did find one for cheap to add to my personal collection, but I also do have one to sell as well. The next game is for the PlayStation 2 as well, and that is Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. Now, this was actually purchased in a video game lot. I just decided to look up some of the games. I didn't think it'd be worth much because some of the PlayStation 2 games aren't, but this game actually is for $20. So, sold comps for being $20. I decided to list it on eBay. That's where I sold it. And for any game that's about $15 or more, I'll list it individually on eBay. So this game here was a perfect one to find and add to my list of stuff that I do have on eBay. Next up is for the PlayStation 3, and it is Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. A lot of the Spider-Man games for the PlayStation 3 are worth a lot of money, and that's thanks to the Marvel MCU and the hype of all the new Spider-Man games and Spider-Man in general. So these games here are going for a lot more money, and they're spiking up. So this game here does sell between $70 to $100, which is insane for a PlayStation 3 video game, but it sells for a decent amount. So if you are able to find it in a video game lot, just remember it's worth about $70 to $100, so you should be able to get a lot of great profit for this game. Another Spider-Man game to be on the lookout for for the PlayStation 3 is Edge of Time. Again, it does sell between $70 to $100. Now, if you are able to find, and it's hard to find these ones, one that is a sealed copy of either one or other Spider-Man games, brand new sealed copy, you should be able to get $150 for, but it's harder to find those sealed copies because there's just not that many of them left out there. Next up is another PlayStation 3 video game and that is Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. This one here actually dropped since I sold it last. I think I sold it around $35 but it does sell between $20 to $50. $50 includes if it is in perfect condition almost like it's brand new but $20 is the average that I have been finding them for so $20 to $50 is still a great price. I did sell mine for $35 but it is still a great game and people are liking it because it's almost like an open world Family Guy game and who does not love Family Guy? Next up is any of the DS Pokemon games. A lot of them, if it's with the case, go for a lot of money. If it's without the gate, if it's without the case and just cartridge only, you should be able to minimum get $25. But if it's with the case, you should be able to get $50 to $100 depending on the game. Now, of course, you have to go and look up soul comps because there is a lot of different Pokemon games. Some are worth more than others, but on average, if it's with the case and has the manual and everything looks great and it is authentic, you should be able to get $50 to $100 for the Pokemon games on the DS. 
Next up is for the NES, Kirby's Adventure. The reason I'm adding this is because it's something that I want to add to my personal collection, so I do know the value of it, and you can find them for cheap with different NES bundles and video game bundles, but they are hard to find. And this game here sells between $30 to $50, so it's a decent one to find if you are able to find it with a reasonable price, but they are hard to find. Next up is Authentic Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. These ones here sell between $50 to $100 if they are authentic. $50 is, I think, uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red, something like that. The one that you really want to be on the lookout for is Emerald, which sells for over $100 for that individual cartridge. And I'm just talking about the cartridges, no box, no inserts, no nothing, just the Game Boy cartridge. So Emerald is definitely one to be on the lookout for. And the last games is any of the other Game Boy Pokemon games. They sell between $30 to $60 depending on condition and depending on the game. So for example, I had Pokemon Blue and this one here with a rough label, I was able to sell it on eBay for $35. So there is profit to be made on any Pokemon game, whether it's DS, Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy games. You just have to know how to spot if it's authentic or if it is fake. Because for the Game Boy games, when it comes to Pokemon or even DS, any Pokemon game, there is a ton of fakes out there. So you have to know what to spot, how to tell if it is a fake, and make sure you don't get burned. So make sure you're buying from a reasonable source rather than somebody that's just selling it and claiming it's authentic when it's actually fake. And a lot of times it's not necessarily people thinking and trying to scam you. Sometimes people genuinely think when they find these games it's authentic, but it actually isn't. So learn how to spot a fake and then you should be able to make great profits whenever you do sell these games if you are able to pick them up and it's actually authentic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.